Well, as I was uh, praying, I always think, like, after we finish our reflection Sunday, I always immediately at the end to figure out what we're doing next. Um. But, <laughs> but the Lord just spoke unity. I was like, okay. And then later on, he gave me Psalm 133. And I'm going to read that to you, right? Psalm 133 says, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head, running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garments. It is like the dew of Hermon, descending upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. And as I was looking at that, I was like, unity, it's not much unity going on right now. <laughs> And as I was just like looking at the scripture, God just kind of like broke it down for me. And he emphasized the brethren. Like how we as a body are even divided. Mm -hmm. Like this election has even divided the household of faith. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm looking at that, I'm like, wow. And God says when there is unity, he commands a blessing. And he compared the blessing like the precious oil. Mm. And then, as I was looking more into oil and what, represent, what it represented, back then, at that time, when kings were anointed, it mm. showed that they were chosen vessels to be used by God. Mm -hmm. So when there is unity, God commands a blessing. Mm -hmm. And then it says it goes all the way down to the garments. Mm -hmm. And the garments that the priestly wore, it dragged on the floor. So it just says that Every part of the brother, from the top to the to the head to the bottom, there is a blessing there. And then I looked at the Jew of Hermon. And Hermon was a, a land that when you stood in Palestine, no matter where you stood, you saw Hermon. Mm -hmm. So that just shows that, that when there's unity, there's a blessing that's visible for everyone to see. Mm -hmm. And then as I was looking further, it says the blessing, life forevermore. That blessing is God's protection and favor. And right now, we are living at a time where there is nothing but discord. Mm. And when Charlottesville happened, it just broke my heart. I'm like, God, what is happening? But Brother Les said something that was just, wow. Like, if you don't learn from history, history repeats itself. Yeah. And history yeah. is definitely repeating yeah. itself. Yeah. Yeah. But what happened at the time when there was lots of racial tension. It brought up such a unity amongst people. Mm -hmm. It didn't matter what background you had, everyone was uniting. So when Charlottesville happened, it broke my heart, but these neo-Nazis and alt-rights, or yeah, alt-rights, they were supposed to have a march in different cities. So the following weekend, they were supposed to congregate in Boston. Mm -hmm. But you know what, the news didn't speak much of it. You know why? Because so many different people from different walks, from different uh, backgrounds, all united in Boston to resist. Mm -hmm. And nothing ever happened. Why? They were met with opposition. Yeah. And there's something about what opposition does. It causes us to unify and to, to fight and to resist. Mm -hmm. But we are resisting in a different manner. Mm -hmm. Like, in Charlottesville, they were aggressive. They had the clubs. They had the shields. But we just or we, I'm not saying we, because you also consider me you know, on the left. Um, <laughs> but they united as a, as a whole. They weren't violent, they weren't aggressive, they went about it a different way. And I'm seeing that even now that people are starting to unite, they're starting to resist, and it's just, it's an exciting time that we're living in. And I truly believe that time is of the essence. I think that time is definitely um, short, and that's why we're going through the things that we're going through. Um, I don't think that it's happenstance that history is repeating itself in this time and in this fashion. So as I was just looking further, I was like, oh, well, God you know, blesses us when we are walking in unity. There's power in unity. There's God promises to make our name great. There's blessings of favor and protection. But it's the complete opposite when there is discord. So then God took me to James 3, 
Grace 16 through 18. And that says, For where envy and self-seeking exist, confusion and every evil thing are there. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceful, peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality, without hypocrisy. Now the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace by those who make peace. And I think that God is calling us at this time to make peace. But the only way that will happen is if we choose to unify, if we choose to band together and walk out this faith, walk in love. We can't, you know, we, the word says we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So a lot of this is spiritual, and we have, you know, have to use our faith and use our authority and use our power and speak. But now there is a time where it's it's more than just word, it's action. Yeah. And I believe that God is really expecting us to rise to a level of a boldness of faith. Because it takes a lot to be able to stand up and speak for what you believe in. Yeah. Um, before, like, you know, Brother Les said, I think that we took a breather when Obama became president. It was like, yes, let's put a bus in the White House. But then now, you know, with 45, it was just, it's the complete opposite. And it just shows the heart of a lot of people, people who were silent, who weren't happy about, you know, Obama being in office simply because of the color of his skin. And now it's it's evident now. But you know, we're not gonna wrestle against flesh and blood. We're gonna stand up and we're gonna unite and we're gonna speak up, we're gonna stand out and we're gonna do what God has called us to do. Yeah. And when we do this thing as one body and as one accord, it's evident. God will get glory because yeah. the promise in him Psalm 133 that he blesses us and he makes that blessing evident to where everyone can see. Amen. So I'm just, you know, that's the word that God gave me about us unifying and speaking up and speaking out and trusting that God's going to bless us as we do just that. Amen. Amen.